upstairs my house. I had my feet up against the base of a screen hanging from the ceiling. It was weighted down at the bottom. And on the screen, there was this woman. She was being tied to a pair of poles. And she was screaming and, and thrashing about. And I was scared for her. I, I didn't know what was going on. There was this thump, thump sort of sound. And, and trees started breaking. Then all of a sudden, it was calm. I don't remember walking. I don't remember my parents' faces out of the crib. I remember Kong. That's what stuck. I got started in, in film criticism. I worked at the public radio station in Detroit. They needed a film critic. I was in school. I said, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay, well, great, you can do it. And the idea of going to movies for free, it was like the express train that happened. What are you kidding? No stops. I look at movies in my spare time. Uh, I look at DVDs and laser discs uh, at home because I love movies. I have no idea how many movies I've seen, thousands of movies. We inhabit a film-crazy universe, a world taken over by the movies. These crowds to watch a film could be anywhere on Earth. People lined up to see a favorite art film, a Hollywood blockbuster, an admired director and stars. The one common factor that everyone has, whether he's a, a peasant in Bolivia or the Pope in the Vatican, is that in some way, film has touched him. In some way. For a few people, film has a different, perhaps deeper meaning. It's their profession to get to a movie. And they respond to cinema as a personal crusade and calling. I live for discovery. I live for finding somebody, putting it all together in a new way. If I can see three movies this weekend, why should I just see one? I am a junkie. If movies could kill you, I would have been dead years ago. They are the film critics. Yeah.